Good morning. Today we're going to look at using the reparenting component to take a Win32 application and run it inside of Notes as a component in a composite app. The application we're going to use to demonstrate this is Second Life, a very graphics intensive client just to show some of the power of being able to reparent things. Before we start, however, we need some additional information. Since the component effectively launches a new instance of that application, we need information about how to do that. Uh, we need the name of the executable, that's the full path to .exe file. Optionally, the startup folder, if your executable requires a particular place to start. Then we need uh, some combination of the Windows title or the Windows class. This allows us to find the application once lost and then pull it into and display it within our component. The title is very clearly what appears on top of the screen when the application runs. The class is the programmatic identifier for the window, and we'll be looking at a way to find that bit out. The handiest place to find out the executable name and the folder is from the actual icon that launches the thing. If you bring up the properties for it, you can see there is given the path to the program name and the folder that we start in. So we're going to note those down and come back to those in a minute. The window title is pretty obvious. It's right up here at the top of the screen, so we're going to note that down. The Windows cast is a little trickier because it does not appear anywhere in the UI. So we're going to use this another component that distributes the library. Uh, that's a spy view. It's very similar if you're a C developer to uh, Spy++ or something like that. It just lists all the windows on the desktop. And we just scroll until we find the Second Life and we see the title there and we see the class is also happens to be Second Life. So we note that down as well. So now that we have all of the information we need, we can go ahead and create the application. We give it a name. Uh, we tell it we want a blank composite, composite application. And we create it. Once it's there, we have to edit it to start putting components inside of it. So first we drag the object from our library to our client area. Next we have to fill in the advanced component properties to reflect the values we've collected. So we're going to add an exe name going to add in the exe folder. I'm uh, going to add in the window class. Now, I'm not going to end in the add in the window title. Some experimentation is handy. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't need it. I've already looked at this and I don't need it. Another parameter which I'm going to add is startup time. The second life takes a bit of time to start up, and normally it times out after 10 seconds. We're going to say, wait, you know, wait a full five minutes. And when we accept those properties, we should see it reparent within here. So I'm not getting a lot of luck here in getting the reparenting to come up inside of edit mode, but let's go back to the actual application and see how it does in full mode. So here we go, it's a little compressed because of the, the resizing of the screen, but we now have Second Life running inside of Notes. Now, it's a composite, we could add other components to it if we wish to. Um, unfortunately, the reparenting control doesn't expose anything up to integration, so we'd only get on the glass integration. But if we find that useful, we could do that.